Hello, today we are talking about CDI ignition systems. There are many reasons why one might like to install a better ignition system. Often the original ignition system delivers only weak light and ignition current. This leads to starting problems and low light output. Digital CDI ignitions have a variable ignition point. This means that they reset the ignition point in relation to RPM. This causes more torque at a lower RPM as well as a cleaner and colder combustion at a higher RPM. In addition, the system delivers 90 watt and 12 volt lighting current. This means more power for your headlights. The Vespatronic scope of delivery contains one stator plate, the ignition coils, a voltage regulator, a flywheel puller, various connectors, the flywheel with pre-assembled cooling fan and the holding tool for it. You have to use the original screws for the flywheel cooling fan and the stator plate. First remove the original ignition system. Loosen the five screws that fasten the flywheel cover and remove them. Open the junction box and undo the connection to the wiring loom or the electronic unit. Now install the holding tool for the flywheel cooling fan to block it. This way you can open the flywheel nut without difficulty. Now you can remove the holding tool. Screw the flywheel puller for the original flywheel cooling fan into the thread and tighten the screw. The flywheel cooling fan disengage from the cone of the crankshaft with a noticeable jerk. Now you can take it out. Unscrew the three screws of the stator plate to remove it. Pre-assemble for the Vespatronic. Guide the wires of the light and ignition coils through the plate and fasten the coils on the ignition plate with the provided screws. Lead the Vespatronic wiring harness through the crankcase to the junction box. Now secure the ignition system with the three screws. On this step you have to use the original screws. Attach the flywheel. Take care that the woodruff key sits in the groove of the crankshaft and the flywheel. Slide the supplied spring washer on the crankshaft stump and will nut. To fasten the flywheel use the supplied holding tool and tighten the nut. Finally install the flywheel cover using the five original screws. Now the ignition system needs to be connected to the wiring loom. Connect the red wire to the CDI and to the kill signal of the ignition switch. Connect the yellow wire to the wiring loom, it supplies 12 volt lightning current. The red-white wire supplies the charging current for the battery and has to be connected to the voltage regulator. Blue is the earth, connected to the CDI and to the earth lead of the wiring loom. Often even original wiring looms do not adhere to their colors. For this reason we cannot give you colors for the wiring loom. If you are looking for a wiring loom with the correct colors for the respective ignition systems, Use the SIP wiring looms. Their colors match the ignition system and wiring is a piece of cake. If you want to know how to adjust the ignition system, just click on this video. Thanks for watching, subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you soon on SIP TV.